My uncle knows the man who makes street signs for the city. He thought it would be nice to have Piazza di Giuliano here. Since we've been here for 56 years, it's, it's nice to call it that. Although it's not really the Piazza, it's just, uh, it's an inside joke. I'm Rick Giuliano. We're in front of uh, Giuliano's Delicatessen on Gardena Boulevard. I'm the manager. My grandfather was the original owner. Gardena Boulevard was the original downtown in Gardena. They didn't start building shopping centers on Redondo Beach Boulevard until the early 50s. At least the downtown area has always been kind of like a Norman Rockwell kind of thing. There's been uh, a few changes over the years, some different things. A lot of different businesses have come and gone in the last 50 years or so. We started on the East Coast. My family came to America 100 years ago and was in New England. And after the war, had several great uncles who were in the military stationed in Camp Pendleton and called my great grandmother up and said, you gotta come to California, it's just like Sicily, they've got oranges here, they've got uh, fig trees here, they've got all the stuff you had back home and it's warm all the time and you're not freezing and you should come to California. So bit by bit, a whole lot of family members moved to Southern California. My grandfather had an operation like this in a place just north of Boston, Wakefield, Massachusetts. There's a picture inside of him in 1925 when he was 19 years old in his first store. He took it over after his father died. By the time we started here in 52, he was in his early 40s at the time and decided to, uh, to make a go of it here. We bake all this bread every day in ovens that are right behind there. Every week we put one of the breads on special. Filoni's our special today. This one right here. Uh, nice, uh, hearty Italian bread. My cousin's got a whole line of peppers that he sells all over the, the western half of the country that's here in the front. This is our pastry area. You got a lot of cakes. We make all of the cakes right here on the premises as well. On the other side of the bread bakery, I've got a pastry bakery across the alley. Here's some ceramics from Italy. That's some salami on sale for $2.95 a pound. Can't beat the price on that. Our torpedo sandwich is probably the most popular thing. We've got a sandwich that's like this big for $4.95. It's got several Italian lunch meats and pepperoncini peppers and lettuce and, and provolone cheese on a French roll. And we make pretty much everything on the premises with the exception of things we bring in from Europe. We feed a lot of people. Uh, how about um, your, your sauce? Everybody has a secret ingredient in their sauce. Uh-huh. What's, uh... What's our secret? <laughs> I, you know, I don't know. It's my grandmother's recipe. We use whole tomatoes in some of the, in the marinara sauce. We use tomato paste in, in some of the spaghetti sauce. Uh, a lot of it has to do with cooking the meat in the sauce. We make the meatballs in the sausage and then we cook it in the sauce to give the flavor of the meat to the sauce but not have chunks of meat in the sauce. It's much better to let you taste everything, but you can't do that, can't, you can't do that with a camera. We would remodeled our store back in the 60s put a new facade on it, put a whole new interior. We had doubled the size of it. The city had come to us. They had some kind of government grant to uh, do something to the, the landscaping in the neighborhood. They pulled out some ficus trees they had put in palm trees. And when they were doing that and redoing the sidewalks, they said to us, if you pay for extra concrete and, and don't mind losing four parking spaces, we can make a seating area in front of your store. It paid for itself like almost immediately. I mean, the nice thing is, is the people can get their food, come out here and eat it, talk for a long time, drink their coffee, uh, whatever. They can you know, spend the morning here reading the paper. And then they can go back in after they're done and pick up stuff for dinner. Before that, people would come in and they'd get their food and they'd leave or they'd eat it in the car and get crumbs all over the front seat. And now the crumbs come here and we just, we just take care of it here. But it's, it's a whole lot nicer. We should have done this 30 years ago. Since we've been here for such a long time, a lot of people know about us and uh, they just keep on coming back. As long as we treat them well and give them good food at a, a decent price, they keep on coming back. I think it's a friendly town. I think there's, there's just a whole lot of nice people here. One of the things about being in this business is I see so many people every day, I feel like I know the whole town on a first name basis. And it's nice. It's, uh, there's a lot of nice people around here.